survivor of the Oxford High School shooting is in the national spotlight for his courage. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Heather Catalo. That tops our news this half hour. He's a finalist after being nominated for a national award. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham spoke to him one on one. Here at Oxford High School and throughout this community, there's been a continued focus on healing. And part of that process has been through the healing power of sports. Student athlete John Asciutto, a school shooting survivor, has become a big part of that. We're just a tough community, like nothing can break us. John Asciutto, an Oxford senior, defined what Oxford Strong means to him. The motto surfaced following the darkest day in the city's history, November 30th. John, who was shot in the back of the leg, did not want to talk about that day. Instead, we spoke about his future, his love of varsity football and basketball, and what it was like returning to the hardwood to a standing ovation. A good moment for me, and I don't know, I, I felt cared for and I was happy and thankful for it. Given the injury and what, you know, it could have done to your abilities, what was it like getting cleared to play and being back on the court, being back in competition? It was a really good feeling. I mean, even today, like going out and playing, it's just like, it's crazy and I don't take it for granted at all. Little did John know, his athletic director, Tony DeMar, nominated him for the Jersey Mike's Naismith Courage Award. Not only that, John learned he was selected as a finalist, one of 10 finalists in the country, high school seniors who play varsity basketball and display courage. It, it really was an easy choice, uh, being able to uh, just think through uh, John being a courageous person and uh, what he has done, what he's meant to our school and to our athletic department and the community. Incredibly well deserved. I don't think anybody knows the type of trauma and adversity that, that the entire school, but specifically John, went through. Boys varsity basketball head coach Steve Laidlaw. He goes, Coach, I can't wait to come back. Laidlaw says the motto this year has been to press onward. And John has done that with incredible courage and toughness, and he's brought his teammates great joy and peace and hope. Lifting others up while staying humble. DeMar says John's modesty is one of the reasons he surprised him with the nomination, and one reason why he's deserving of a win. It was just like an awesome feeling. Was, can't be more thankful and just honored. The male and female winners of the award will be announced April 12th. In Oxford, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.